The focus of this lesson is on converting a quadratic function equation to standard form. So suppose we have an equation that's not in standard form and we want to get it there. So we would use completing the square in order to do that. And so I'm going to go ahead and show us an example where we would kind of go through the process. So the first part of the step is you want to group together your ax squared plus bx piece. So in this case it would be negative x squared plus 3x. Kind of put those together in a group. And then keep the constant separate, so plus 8. And then you want to factor out your leading coefficient a from the group that you just made. So in our case, that's a negative 1. So we want to pull that out from our parentheses set. And when we do that, it divides out. It's always division out. So divide by negative 1, you're left with x squared minus 3x. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little space here. And that's on purpose for the completing the square step. So then, I want to work on completing the square for my parentheses set that I have. So this again is after I factor out the a piece. So I want to take half of my b value and square it. So my b value is negative 3. So I want to take half of that. So I want half of b. So what is half of negative 3? Well, it's negative 3 over 2. And if you're like, how did you get that? It's just, again, half times whatever your b is, which in this case was negative 3 over 1. And then just multiply straight across. But you'll get negative 3 over 2. And then what I want to do is I want to square that. So it might look complicated here on this left-hand side, but just square your previous value. So negative 3 halves times itself. So negative 3 halves squared is just negative 3 halves times negative 3 halves. And again, you don't have to write this all down if you're able to compute it and see it, but that is 9 fourths. So that's half of b squared. That was my whole goal. What is half of b? And then square it. So I got 9 fourths. So notice it looks like I added in 9 fourths. However, we have to be careful that 9 fourths is being multiplied by the a that we had factored out. So it's actually a negative 9 fourths that we added in. So we, I'm going to note that, that we actually added in negative 9 fourths. Well, that means that this equation is no longer what you started with. So to kind of go to undo that, if you will, we need to add in the opposite. So who's the opposite of a negative 9 fourths? Who's his additive inverse? Well, it's positive 9 fourths. So that's our next step. So we're going to take what we have and just kind of rewrite it. But we want to add that 9 fourths to our constant at the end. And then that way, it really means that if we add in negative 9 fourths and 9 fourths, we added in 0. We didn't change anything. We just changed the look. And so then now this helps us to write it into standard form. So negative 1, we can just write as a negative. You don't have to put the 1. And then we need to rewrite this as a perfect square because it is. We already completed the square, so now we can rewrite it as a perfect square. And then we're going to have added in our constant. But um, this is 8 over 1 plus 9 over 4, so they need a common denominator. So a denominator of 4 would work. So multiply by 4 here and 4 here, so in the numerator and denominator. And so you get to add 32 fourths to 9 fourths. Now, as far as writing this perfect square piece, who's being squared? Well, look at your x squared. x is being squared. And then for this constant, who was squared to get that 9 fourths? Do you remember? Go back to your work. It was negative 3 halves, the half of b. And that will always be the case. And so you are left with negative 
the quantity x minus 3 halves squared plus Add those together, you get 41 fourths. And so this completes our problem as far as getting our quadratic into standard form. I could ask you for the vertex. Um, I didn't here, but what is the vertex? Well, in standard form you can kind of see it. Who's being subtracted off from x? 3 halves. And who's being added in k-wise, we see is 41 fourths. So that's the vertex.